So today we're tying a Bob Sands knot, and this knot is used for attaching leader to braid, uh, whether it be mono or fluorocarbon. And uh, the great thing about this knot is it goes to the guides really well, and that's really, really important. Um, but I pretty much use this knot all the way up to, you know, anywhere from, you go know, from 15 pounds all the way up to 80. And then after 80, when you start getting to, into 100, uh, usually I'm tying a bimini or, or splicing. So um, it, this is your pretty much everyday knot for tying a leader. So here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your braid and your fluorocarbon and line them up parallel. And you want to create a pretty good size loop, you know, about the size of a 50 cent piece uh, in your fluorocarbon. Take your piece of braid, hold it parallel right underneath. And what you can do is take your tag end of your fluorocarbon and you're gonna wrap it through this loop four times. And you wanna pull this like 80% tight. So once we got that, you're gonna have your uh, your braid here. And if this knot isn't in the right place or you don't have enough on this tag, you know, you can slide it up and down uh, your your braid here and move it into the right position. You, you, like I said, you wanna pull it like 80% tight. Um, you're gonna pull it fully tight at the very, very end, but you're gonna kinda of put your thumb and kinda of pinch a little spot here. What that's going to do is it's going to create a loop for you. And you're going to wrap this around. Uh, I like to go about 12 wraps, depending on the line. You can go more or less, depending on the size. Usually the bigger the line, the less amount of wraps. But uh, usually about 12 works pretty good for me. Now, unlike the San Diego Jam Knot, you don't need to create another loop at the top. What you need to do is wrap this back over itself about the same amount of times as you went over it. So in this case, about 12, roughly. And once you do that, you're gonna take your tag end, pull it through your initial loop. Okay, just like that. And pull it tight. And this is when you wanna get the line really wet. Now, normally I pull this really tight in my mouth, but just for, so you can see it here, but you, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it in my mouth. So you're gonna pull this tight, and it's gonna come together, just like that. Now, once you've pulled the braid tight, you should have a nice smooth little, little ramp here that you tag in still have a little bit of slack in our original overhand four overhand knot so you're going to pull this tight all right so we've pulled that tight now and we basically have two tag ends so you're just going to trim those off All right, so now you can see we've we've trimmed those tag ends, and we got a nice smooth knot that will uh, slide through your guides, no problem. Always the important thing to remember when you're tying knots is to make sure that you are confident in what you're tying. If you're not confident, make sure you practice it, and uh, when it comes to pulling it tight, make sure you test it and that it looks proper to you. If it doesn't look proper, Take the extra time to cut it off and retie it. I can't stress this enough. There's no point in tying a knot that you know is going to break off and lose that one bite you might have been searching for the whole day or your whole trip. So always take the time to tie your knots correct and have confidence in them. If you like what you saw today, you can subscribe to our channel or follow us along on Instagram and Facebook. And always remember, share the stoke.